I put my shit. I stream it on Twitch, right? I get paid from Twitch. I take the Twitch videos that I already streamed, put it on YouTube, get paid from YouTube, and I get paid from the server. Then you got sponsorships, you got ads, you got all this shit that you get that I get paid from too. And most importantly, though, when these people do pay the hundred dollars up to four hundred dollars a month, you know what I'm saying, to come in there, they turn around and start making twenty a month. Now they, now they, you know what I'm saying, ain't got to be in the streets no more because these niggas who was playing this shit. They ended up dying. What's going on, everyone? Jared the Star here. So recently, T Grizzly appeared on the Million Dollars Worth of Game podcast featuring Gillian Wallow. Now, for those of you who don't know, the Million Dollars Worth of Game podcast is ran by Gillian Wallow. Gilly wasn't a rapper back in the day, the early 2000s, and Wallow actually went to the penitentiary for 20 years, came home, and he's out here making a difference in the community. He's out here doing prison reform, helping people who went to prison find new jobs and start their life over. He's out here working with young artists like T Grizzly, who basically already have a name in the community, but are trying to make it even bigger. He's out here working with young athletes, young entrepreneurs. He's basically out here working with everyone. The whole product and the whole purpose of this thing is to give game and support the youth because the youth of the future. Now, while T Grizzly was on the show, he talked about a lot of things. He talked about growing up in Detroit. He talked about how growing up, he didn't realize he was poor until he got money. He thought what he was living was regular, you know, the sharing clothes, the living in poverty, living in the project housing, and he thought that that was just normal for everybody else around him because that's what he saw. Until he started to get some money and he realized that this wasn't so and that other people were living better, but it all just supported his grind. Now, one thing he talked about that really stood out to me was he made a lot of money off Twitch streaming, which is a different stream of income because he is a musician. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, Twitch is just a streaming platform. You can play games. You probably know from Aiden Ross, Flight Reacts, I Show Speed. You probably know from a lot of content creators who are out there making a name for themselves, right? And T Grizzly said that he made over 200K a month playing GTA RP. Now he's playing Grand Theft Auto, making a lot of money. And the whole purpose of this is he's actually motivating people around him, inspiring them to step out of the streets and pick up the controller and make some money. Now, a lot of people are in the streets and doing stuff that they may not be, you know, morally correct or politically correct, but they're just doing it to get some money. And the whole purpose that he started gaming and he started doing other stuff is because when his brother got locked up, he just felt bad because it's like, man, if he was gaming, if he was doing all this other stuff, he wouldn't have to be in the streets doing stuff and getting locked up for it. So he was out there gaming and he was out there basically putting the youth on and basically putting people on that may live that similar lifestyle as him to get money the legal way so they don't have to be caught up in the feds. Him making 200k a month off Twitch is crazy. And it's kind of crazy to see because usually you view these rappers as just these icons who just smoke weed every day, you know, make money, deal with a lot of women. But he's out here giving a real deal breakdown and like, yo, I play games, nothing wrong with it. I'm in the house. Sure, I make music as well, but I'm making a lot of money playing games. Even T-Pain, another, you know, artist that's, you know, a little bit older, he talked about that he's made a lot of money playing Twitch. And as he made a lot of money playing Twitch than compared to music, I'm pretty sure he's made almost over this year. He's probably made more money than he's made in the last couple of years from music, basically saying that from the streaming, from the playing the games. And it's basically a very lucrative career. Now, it's kind of crazy to see because T Grizzly actually went to prison a couple years back when he released his song First Day Out for a robbery at a pawn shop. And he basically broke down the whole incident that happened. And basically, the pawn shop, which is kind of a slash of jewelry, sold his friend a fake watch. And they basically came back to the jewelry to, you know, pay them a visit. They drove all the way from Michigan to Kentucky, he said in an interview. And basically, they smashed the glass that the jewelry was in and didn't take anything to prove a point. Person pulled a gun, led to the whole thing, he went to jail. Now they basically tried to try him on armed robbery, of course, and they're trying to give him like a lot of time because you know there's a point system when you're in jail, so the more stuff you do, the more stuff that adds up. And that's basically what Wallow was saying, that's why he got so much time because he had prior convictions. And they see talked about how they tried to say give him 30 years and stuff like that, very high for an armed robbery, though it didn't hurt anyone. And he found a loophole in the law. He found a loophole in the law saying that if he didn't use something to threaten someone, it's not an armed robbery. He had a hammer when he hit the thing with, he hit the counter with, it broke, and he just wanted to prove point that he was upset that he sold his friend a fake watch. They didn't threaten to steal from no one, they didn't threaten to kill no one, and they didn't do anything that was out of pocket that could put them behind bars. And this actually helped him win this case because I'm pretty sure he didn't beat the case, got off charges, but he got like a small like misdemeanor and only a couple years in there, like compared to what they're trying to give him. So overall, an overall win, you know, he came home and he's making the right decision. He, he is also a family man now, he has a son. So there's a lot of different stuff that he has to change because it's like, you know, there's a younger version of him walking around, so you gotta move correct so you can be there from the family. And I feel like when it comes to T Grizzly, he's one of those artists that you kind of forget 
he's around because he's like a low key. Not saying for God, but I'm like he fall, he like he fell off or anything, but he's just out here doing his business, making money. He's not really trying to be in the forefront of the media. He's out here playing GTA RP. He's out here making music. You know, obviously, when you think of TBS, you think of the D to A TBS, you think of the no average thing, the first day out. And these are a lot of things that made him to who he is today. He went on to talk about how the first day out was actually the thing that basically blew up overnight. It was his first song that blew up overnight and got him like 200K views in a day. It's crazy. He said that when he came out, he basically just started working at Home Depot for free for the pro officer because they had to show you how to prove a job when you come out of jail. So he did that to make sure he's cool with his PO. Then he started working at Home Depot, didn't really get any bread. And then he came home to his auntie, rest in peace to his auntie, who actually gave him a shot and helped to get him some money so he can film a music video so he can start his career. Because when you're in jail, you're just thinking like, damn, I need to get out of this situation, which he did, changed the situation, came home, filmed first day out for $2,500. And that him filming that for $2,500, got him booked for 50K doing multiple shows to perform one song. T Grizzly performed one song, 50 days, 50K, first day out, performed one song, and that just made him who he is today. He doesn't really put out that much music. Like, he does put out music. The thing about T Grizzly, he kind of puts out quality music. Not kind of, he does. Like, he's not like those artists that try to, like, drop, like, twice a year or almost, like, in the major times of the year. He kind of puts out music when he wants to, which is, like, kind of good because, you know, he's not, like, pressed for money. Like, he's doing this because he generally wants to. And he has people that rely on him. You know, his brother, Baby Grizzly, is in the pen right now. So, he's out here saying that he does it for him. He does it for a lot of people who are in a messed up situation that just need that real street talk. And that's why I feel like a lot of times street rappers, they try to, you know, get at them for their credibility about saying how they don't live like that. Why are you still rapping like that still? But they still need to speak to the people who are living like that, who are coming from poverty and pain as people like you know Hassan Campbell loves to say and basically people who are living in the hood and people who aren't living like that and people who don't have the luxury to wake up in Beverly Hills or Los Angeles or Miami living in nice places without a care in the world like people who still gotta keep their head on a swivel and live a dangerous life now when it comes to T Grizzly he's obviously a solidified artist I feel like he's one of those artists that people know he's there but they don't really like look for him as much and this ain't no shade to bro because music is fire 2016 that was the man i had on replay and i still listen to a couple of his songs occasionally now but there's a whole lot of artists so there's a whole lot of artists that i have to explore but man with that being said man appreciate you guys for watching the video if you like the video like the video subscribe for more man why are you being stingy man dsg the star gang i'm gone